Hello, and welcome to a Subterranean Press Unboxing. It's a big one. It's a heavy one. It's a two-book set from Jeff Vandermeer. It's the Ambergris Trilogy. Is it really a trilogy? I mean, the first one's a series of short stories. Maybe it's just the Ambergris Saga. I'm not sure how you call it, what you would call it. Uh, it's a dinged copy, so we're going to see how dinged it is. Uh, I love Subterranean Press packing peanuts. They also tell us who shipped it. You get a lot of Emmys. We got an H. H, enjoy your treasures. Well, thank you. It's a readable work of art. So, <clears throat> Jeff Vandermeer, before he did the Southern Reach trilogy, uh, did the Ambergris series. Try to get this out without getting packing peanuts everywhere. It's a little sorry from on the bottom as well, so it's not like it was unprotected. And, uh, well... Then he moved on to Born after the Southern Reach trilogy. Yeah, he just did Hummingbird Salamander. But anyways, he's getting like the special edition treatment from various presses, namely Subterranean Press and his personal favorite Cemetery Dance. A kid, of course, he has some very harsh words about Cemetery Dance. It made for some interesting internet drama. Um, but anyways, um, so he did the complete Born through Subterranean Press. He's doing the Southern Reach trilogy. The uh, Cemetery Dance, he has doubts about whether we actually see that title. And so he went back to Subterranean Press for Ambergris. And uh, we also have our bookmark that has some titles in the back that Subterranean Press did. And a quote from the warehouse, such as, I want an abacus, gosh darn it! So, I hope you get your abacus. <clears throat> so, one of the new things the Subterranean Press does, in addition to using bubble... Uh, mallers, is they actually put, oh man, this is like, come on, ow. this is a struggle on camera. They also put corner bubble mailers on their higher end titles now as well. See, corners are protected. And I like that. Uh, Levidian was doing that, now Subterranean Press is doing that, I like it. So, two very large volumes, they're oversized books, bigger than your normal trade edition, uh, one is Ambergris itself. This uh, this is the short story collection, as well as the two novels. You got Shriek in Afterward and Finch. Fun fact: This is printed. I mean, it's just regular offset printing uh, on 80 pound Finch paper, so you can read Finch on Finch. So there you go. A little literary humor for you there, because. We gotta keep you entertained. So Ambergris, I've never read the series. Uh, it's kind of like a waxier uh, paper for it. I've never read the series, but it's this very mysterious city that has a fungus problem. Is this like sealed? This is not like taped. And there's no tape on this side? Oh, there is tape there. Okay, I'm like, where's the end? Where do I open this? I can rip it open. Which is what we might want to do, but figured we'd go through the. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rip it open a little bit, anyways. We're gonna stretch it out. Um. Anyways, city with a strange fungus problem. There is fungal spores growing everywhere. Um. But it's kind of speculative fiction. It's kind of weird fiction, if you will. And uh, yeah, I know there's a group of people called the Gray Caps who are very much uh, part of the fungus in a way, living below the ground, and they kind of have an uprising. And I'm really getting some interesting vibes from this dust jacket itself. Let's take the dust jacket off and expand into the title. So as I said, this is a dinged copy. So we're going to see what the dings are. The dust jacket looks great. Look at that. Um... Yeah, had an original publishing price of $185 for the set. The ding copies were cheaper, and I like cheaper because, uh, you know, helps save on the books. Maybe that's one of the dings. You can kind of see a little uh, little line there. It doesn't really look like it's cut, though. It almost looks like it's just in the cloth. Uh, my chalky white hands are leaving residue on the cloth, but nothing a little... Uh, Kind of cloth you would use to clean your phones can't fix. This is a thick tome. Look at that. So, these are signed. 
So we have our little end papers there. I'm going to put this one down because I want to break my wrist trying to hold this. Uh, this is number 490 from Jeff Vandermeer. Maybe that's the ding. It looks like his pen ran out of ink in the F of Jeff. <laughs> that's interesting. And that is like thick cardstock for that, uh, for that signature page. Anyways, I don't know if there are interior illustrations. Jeff Vandermeer, Ambergris. Uh, we have very, very thick tome. We have the short story collection, City of Saints and Mad Men, Shriek in Afterward, and then Finch, that acknowledgments after that. Uh, so all of these were available as individual titles. I believe it was Finch that had this really cool limited edition back in the day where it was like a handwritten dust jacket. Drayden in love. Like, we're not talking, like, smaller font. It's regular size font. This is just a thick tome. Very thick. Doesn't look like any interior illustrations, but that's totally fine. Yeah! Like that. That's on the cover of the Finch Limited Edition that they did. Uh, Jeff Terry over at the Jeff Word has one of those. I believe he still has it. Uh, so check out his video. He did, a like, a shelf tour where he showed it off. It was really cool. Like, Jeff Vandermeer, like, wrote like a short story on the dust jacket. And each one was unique. It was very cool. So that is a... Oh, it says, it says illustrated drop caps. So, okay. So let's go look at one of these illustrated drop caps, like on page 101. So, there it is. Little uh, pieces there. You know, not they're, it's illustrations. Illustrated! In its own way. But yeah, that is a thick tome. I don't know if I'm able to read that, like, you know, kill your wrist on that thing. Anyways, it also includes an appendix. And this appendix we do need. This is another appendix with its beautiful corner protectors on it. Now, this one, I think the dust jacket, I believe I rec recall seeing this online. I think this dust jacket was the original dust jacket, original art for uh, the City of Saints and Mad Men the short story collection. Or maybe it was something else that he used this, this image for. But I don't believe this is a new image. Whereas the other one is a new image. I think this one is licensed. Because I've seen it before. I could have sworn it was on a Jeff Vandermeer title. Uh, but look at that. Wrap around jackets. Let's take it off and admire it some more. Uh, so we have cloth that kind of matches the cloth of the original. There we go, the Ambergris of the Appendix by Jeff Vandermeer, Subterranean Press. Uh, this, yeah, Dust Jacket from Scott Eagles from 2002. So yeah, it's definitely an older dust jacket. It's 20 years old. And I believe, like I said, I believe that's from the original uh, short story collection. Could be mistaken on that. The corners don't seem dinged at all. I mean, there might be a little page kind of hiccup there, but that's nothing. Very, very nice. This one I can hold without breaking my wrist. So, looks like we have an intro first. The River Moth was wide and deep. A little short story of sorts. Before we get into the Ambergris Appendix, capital X, Appendix, because X is a uh, character. King Squid, very nice. Table of Contents. Uh, the Zamalon file is a 10,000 page piece that is exclusive to this edition. I like the typeset here. Look at that. Oh, back to regular typeset. Type You're going in and out. you got handwritten scribbles, regular pages, regular typeset. Back to... Hmm. Oh, an actual bibliography. King Squid, a bibliography. Listen, I don't, I'm not very familiar with Ambergris. This might make perfect sense to you. This appendix has a lot of different pieces here. This is must be a... Who's Who, a glossary, cast of characters, Jeff Vandermeer, the Xamelon file, this is the new piece, got some redacted information in there, and a long, weird road to publication, and a map, additional copyright information, very nice! Uh, so as I was saying, this did sell out pre-publication very quickly, and I was like, ah, oh, crap, I missed it, which, you know, it sucked, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll find a copy one day. And a copy came to me. 
a dinged copy that doesn't look very dinged, apart from the fact that his pen ran out of ink and, you know, a couple page hiccups there. A couple, not, no bumped corners. At end, the uh, end papers look fine. There's no extra paste on them. Dust jackets look pristine. I would say we scored pretty well here. Like I said, the, the main thing I can see is his signature kind of ran out of ink there, but I don't know if that counts as a ding, and if it does, I will take it. Ding it all day long, save me some money. Anyways, copies of this are sold out, but you can find them on the secondary market, or if you hover around Subterranean Press long enough, sometimes they put some ding copies up there. So you definitely want to check out their newsletter to get first crack at those dinged copies. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, various links down below, and we will see you around next time.